Next comes water. Water is very important and it is divided into two parts that is irrigation and water uses preventing water contamination. So let's talk about the first one that is irrigation and water uses. Identify the source of water, municipality, reused irrigation water, well, open canal, river and test for contaminations. So first of all, whatever is the water source, you must test that for the contamination. With an expert, identify frequency of testing based on source of water, risk of contamination, including intermittent analysis of water at the correct frequency for contamination. So it should not be done only once. It should be done repeatedly depending upon the source of water. If it is do not irrigate in excess, use only required amount of water for the crops. This is big problem that excess water is generally waste of water and it also uh, does a lot of harm to the soil. So this should be avoided. Do not use contaminated water for irrigations. Please avoid contaminated water. Identify the source and test the quality of the water used for irrigation. You should identify the source and check its quality. Keep water flow channels free of rubbish. So the channels of the water inside the land should also be kept free from the rubbish or dirt or kind of waste. Use the irrigation method recommended for your crops. So some crops need more water, some crops need less water. So depending upon the crop, you can do your irrigation properly. Pay special attention to quality of water. Spread directly on exposed or edible part of the produce and especially before harvesting time. So if there are product like some fruit, some other things and you are sprinkling water, then the quality of the water should be checked properly and it should be contamination free. Next is preventing water contamination. How can we prevent this water contamination? First is avoid entry, excess of animals, birds and pests to the water source. So avoid all animals to the water source. Next, protect water tank and irrigation channels free from the animals and birds. So all the things should be away from the animals. Next is do not store mixed agrochemicals or apply these near water source that means if you are mixing some pesticides some chemicals it should be kept away from the water source not near the water source because they can spill and they can contaminate the water do not clean sprayer or equipment used for agrochemical near the water source or and similar thing happens to the cleaning so when you are cleaning the things like the buckets like the some uh, some pots then this cleaning should be done away from the water source and it should not contaminate, contaminate the water. So these, so these simple steps can avoid contamination in water. 